Hi, welcome to Out to Each Documentaries. This is the one called The Least of These. You know, the Bible says that Jesus Christ was out there looking to be um, someone that represented the least of these. And in today's scripture and today's talking, we'll be talking about that scripture where Jesus Christ said that if you've done it to the least of these, you did it to me. You know, we're in a world today where people are looking to be leaders and are looking to get advantage in the world and they only do good to those that will give them a leg up. But Jesus Christ came to give a hand up to those that were the least of these. And he said, in fact, that even as leaders, if you are there for the least of these, those that are the migrant, the poor, the, the minority, those that are marginalized in our community, that you're doing it to him. You know, the Bible says that Christ came to, to for, the, uh, for their well, but for those that needed the hand of God, those that didn't know Jesus. And I want to encourage you as Christians, um, and as leaders in the world, Christ wants to use people to bring his salvation to others and be the blessing to the least of these. Are you going to be a blessing to the least of these? Do you, are you one of the least of these that Christ needs to be a blessing to? Watch and see what God has in store for you. God bless you. These are the words of Jesus, Matthew chapter 25 from verse 31. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the, angel, the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he'll separate them one for another as a separate shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. He will set the sheep on the right hand and the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was a naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous would answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, and thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and came to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly I say to you, and as much as you did it to one of the least of these of my bridges, you did it to me. Yo, you know the Bible says that like Jesus Christ looked at the multitudes. He saw them and he had great compassion upon them. And the Bible says that, you know, we have come to, to seek and be ministers of reconciliation and follow the heart of Jesus Christ. As Christ has been sent, so have we been sent in the world. And According to the statistics, and 2020, there was 281 migrants globally. That was 3.6% of the world's population. As we speak, there are at least 26 million refugees worldwide and at least 1.4 million refugees that need resettlement right now. There are at least 1.6 billion people around the world that live in inadequate shelter. In 2022, about 47% of the world's population lived on less than $6.85 a day. $6.85 a day. Think about that. Romans chapter 8 from verse 19 to 22 states, For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope because the creation also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know the whole creation groans and labours with birth pains until now. What is God's perspective? What is God's point of view? Maybe you ask yourself, think about it. What would you think his perspective and his views if you were to look at the world today and look at how we treat people? How we treat people that are not um, the same race as us or how we treat people that are migrants, minorities, strangers, um, refugees, um, um, people that are poor, people that are maybe in prison, people that are marginalised, um, people that are minorities in our majority situations. How would you think Jesus would look at these situations and how we approach people 
You know, often, the reason why I'm doing this is because often, a lot of times, a narrative is framed that, you know, there's a narrative that is really determined by how things are politically shown or how things are shown according to the economy or according to how society deems as acceptable, what is deemed as acceptable in the media, what is the punchlines and the social media um, um, clip, um, clip baits that you usually see around. But what is God's perspective? The Bible says his foundation is righteousness and justice <laughs> of his throne. The Bible says that, you know, um, he came to seek and save that which was lost. He came not to bring condemnation onto others, but bring salvation and justice and repentance and, 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 and justification and freedom from condemnation. As we read that scripture, that's what this is based on. Jesus Christ said, I was a prisoner, you went to visit me. I was poor, you gave me, and I was hungry, you gave me food. I was a stranger, a migrant. Yeah, that's what it means, a migrant. I was a, 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 a person that was not a, belonging to the land, and I came into this land, and you welcomed me in. And they said, why? When did we do this? They said, when you did it to the least of these, you did it to me. And Jesus Christ said, Jesus, what Jesus Christ said, that he, was a, he represents those. He represents all of us that have fallen. All of us that have not done the right thing. He, stand, he, 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 he stood in our stead and sacrificed his life for you and me. Because all have fallen short of the glory of God. All have fallen short of, of God's truth and God's righteousness. And he came to die for us so we could receive his righteousness, so we could receive his salvation and have eternal life and bring his justice and righteousness to the world around us. It is not right for us to pull down others. It is not right for other people to be sacrificed so that we could have a popularity push, as it's seen so often in politics so often in economics, so often in um, um, social um, um, promotion. God wants to give a leg up and bring people up from where they're in the doldrums. And whatever doldrum you find yourself in, God wants, wants to pull you out by his power, by his salvation, and bring you to his eternal life and eternal peace. But not only that, he wants to use you to do that to others and bring others from doldrums and destruction. Not push down others, please. I bet I I implore you. I, want, I implore people as we're watching. I want us to get to the real perspective of Christ and what Christ is desire for society because I believe that's what God is pushing through now. He's as as we as as, as it says in what in the scripture Romans chapter eight that all creation is under futility and oppression, but he's raising sons of God to bring people out of the oppression and bring them into eternal life and eternal peace. I want to pray with you right now. If you have not given your life to Christ, I want to pray right now that you give your life to Christ. And those that are in need, I want to pray for those that are in need on the ground. And I want to pray for those that are watching that maybe are Christians that God wants to use to bring justice to victory to those and change the narrative from narratives of oppression to a narrative of justice. If you don't know Jesus Christ, I pray for you. I pray that Christ, who died for you on the cross, rose again from the grave and is in heaven as Lord and God, we will save you and bless you and bring you into eternal life in Jesus' name because he's done that so you could have salvation and have God as your father and be with him now and forever. And if you want to receive that, say, Jesus, I believe he died for me on the cross. He, goes, he rose again from the grave and you're in heaven as Lord and God. I surrender my life to you. And if you're here on this line today and you need the and you're in uh, uh, any situation that has been said here, I pray for God's intervention in his hand and his breakthrough where, he, where you need and that God will open the door. And if you need any help, get in contact with us with the deals on the screen and we'll help you, yeah, um, as much as we can. And those um, on the line, I pray, that are, are Christians are, and that can do certain things about these things we talk about, that God will light, I pray that the Holy Spirit You'll saturate every life there and you'll invade them with your heart, your mind, your perspective. So they will line up with you and your justice and your salvation, your victory into the world today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Wow, the sun is just streaming into my eyes. Yo, I think it's a good day, isn't it? <laughs> All right. It's a pleasure to bring these sessions to you. And if you want to know more, get in contact with us with the details on the screen. And yeah, we'll, 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 um, we'll, we'll point you to the right direction in certain things. We've got events in our local communities. And if you're in the Northwest London, the Borough of Brent, get in contact with us, we could direct you accordingly. 
and also i mean we do work internationally as well so if you're interested in finding out what's going on um we're here for you man <laughs> the stuff in different parts of the world including africa we're going to catch up with you soon god bless you have a good day keep watching Yeah. Yeah. Now let's get to the singing strength. We wanna get dancing, but it's time to dance with some justice in it. Put a bit of justice in it. Tell it, tell it, tell it. Listen, check it out. Green Hills. Special. The man, kingdom, justice, Japan. Special man dancing in it. It's not it, it's green hills. If you wanna dance, then dance for justice. Dance for the world so they can be trusted. If you wanna dance, then dance for justice. Dance for the world so they can be trusted. It's the kingdom of God right here. It's the kingdom of God right now. So what you gonna do with that? It's the kingdom of God right here. It's the kingdom of God right now. So what you gonna do with that? The time is now. The best is yet. Singing to a king. The time is near. Clarity is here. That means it's clear. It's what you gonna hear when you walk in here. So come back and get the nation. Motivation, not just information. So what you gonna do now? Listen. It's the kingdom of God right here. It's the kingdom of God right now. So what you gonna do now? It's the kingdom of God right here. It's the kingdom of God right now. So what you gonna do now? If you wanna dance, then dance for justice. Dance for the world so they can be trusted. It's the kingdom of God right here. It's the kingdom of God right now. So what you gonna do now? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's move. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Nobody never robbed a man So please Mr. Officer don't kill me where I stand You want peace I want the same Just for war it's a shame I needed you you never came But speeded to give us shame You know life is a gift For you life is a shift When things go adrift Both ends swift But I feel there's a rift 
Like there's a divide I mean I see blue lights And I feel I should hide Black and comely Say it humbly But let them know We're black and beautiful Call me ugly Wouldn't love me But let them know We're black and beautiful Black and comely Say it humbly But let them know We're black and beautiful Call me ugly Wouldn't love me But let them know We're black and beautiful They tell me where to go They wanna tell me who I am Maybe they would know If they care to understand Tell me where to go They wanna tell me who I am Maybe they would know If they care to understand Yelling that we took their jobs Then they called us lazy Love to talk about the past Just don't mention slavery We scare them when we frown Scare them when we smile Scare them when we're grown Scare them as a child We're victims when we're calm Villains when we're wild In love with hot and spicy They mess up with the mild We gon' turn up Get it poppin' Never need a run up The city getting burn up But God gon' bring the sun up Black and comely Say it humbly But let them know We're black and blue Call me ugly, wouldn't love me, but let them know we're black and beautiful. Black and comely, say it humbly, but let them know we're black and beautiful. Call me ugly, wouldn't love me, but let them know we're black and beautiful.